Hello, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel. I make videos on natural living, plants, house plants, sometimes gardening, different little things. So if you like that kind of stuff, then please do stick around and hit the subscribe button. Today, I am going to be planting up this little bunny urn. It's really pretty darn cute. I think it would be adorable with a fern, but for this time of the year, and I was kind of thinking about maybe putting it on my patio and I don't know. I thought I would do some succulents in here to start off with. And if you haven't seen my video from last week, or was it the week before? I don't know. Where I had gotten a lot of succulents and a couple orchids from the clearance section at Lowe's. I'll put a link to that in the iCard and also in the description so you can check out that video. I'm going to be using some of those succulents today for this little urn and I think that's going to be really darn cute. So it, I'm going to probably plant this outside so you won't be able to hear me much. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you a little bit more about how I'm going to plant this up because it's been pretty stormy out and I don't want to contend with the wind. So if you are an advanced waterer or succulent waterer and you know how much water to give your plants usually, without needing it to drain all the way through. Because typically when you water succulents, you want to water them until the water drains all the way through and then empty out whatever kind of catchment system you have, whether it's a little tray or you just have it in your sink and make sure that the water goes all the way through to the bottom and do that once the soil is all the way dry, of course, or almost completely dry. You can let your roots if it's more of a tender succulent, you can let the soil not completely, totally dry up all the way. Whereas like for a cactus, it's generally you want the soil to dry out all the way. For me anyways, that's what has worked for me. But the easiest way to water them, of course, is all the way through. But if you have been watering succulents for a long time and you really know how much water to give them and you're successful with watering plants without a hole in the bottom, then you don't really have to worry about this step. But for something like this, where there is no hole, I sometimes, well, mostly for plants that aren't succulents, <laughs> just because I'm not as good at giving them the less water, if that makes any sense. <laughs> for some reason, I'm better at watering succulents in enclosed pots than non-succulents. I don't know why, but I will use it as basically a cover pot and just plant everything in these. I tend to find that as long as my roots are long enough, then they will go all the way to the bottom and they will soak up all that water, so I generally don't need to worry about it. It's just with regular house plants, for some reason I have more problems with that because there's so much more varieties of them. Not that there aren't so many varieties of succulents, it's just I find that succulents tend to behave the same more than houseplants. So <laughs> let's not waste any more time yammering and I will show you how I am planting this up.
So now you can see that it's all finished. I ended up only using three of the second set or four of the second side cotton on clearance. This, oh, a cat, a big one, uh, two smaller ones that came in the same pot, and then a third one. These are some string of pearls I already had, and I had gotten this one out of another pot that I had taken apart. So yeah, I think it turned out really pretty. And I really like this bright pop of color over here and then another more green color they kind of balance each other out and then with the white and the blue I think it looks really nice oh my goodness my cat keeps oh my goodness these kinds of plants are really hard to work with just because of the powderiness around them uh, so I usually don't really like to work with them that much but they're just so pretty that I can't help myself so now that I have this done I am going to put this in a brightly lit window, either an eastern window to start off with, or I will have it about a foot or two away from a southern or western window. And I think it will be really happy that way. I'll just water this once a week, but of course I'm going to wait a couple days before I water it for the first time, just so that way all those roots have a time to close and not be exposed to any water, especially this little guy right here because this one has no roots I just cut him off so that way he could fit down in there better so yeah that way everything is happy and will stay healthy so I'm expecting good things from this I hope it turns out really well once we're not having so much rain and cold days I will probably put this out on my patio where it will be getting good bright morning light but shade the rest of the day so that way none of the tender succulents will be burned or scorched from the sun because when you're transitioning a plant to outdoors, it's especially important not to have it in bright sunlight all day. But for these tender succulents, even if you live in a place where you can have them out year round, generally you don't want them exposed to the bright heat and sun directly in the day for the most part for the tender ones. But you know, it all depends on your climate and your zone. So of course, make sure that you watch people's videos on where your zone is and check in with your local garden centers or see a local garden as well. It's really nice when somewhere in your area, someone has a garden that is open to the public or perhaps a botanical garden. So that way you can see what can grow well in your area and in what conditions. So like for me, I live in a zone six in a high desert where we get really cold in the winter, but you know, a little before, below uh, zero, generally. But during the summer, we can get up to, oh, there's some summers where for a few days, we can get over, over 110. But usually it's in over 100 during the really hot part of the year. So succulents like these do not do well out in the bright sun, so. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my abilities. So I hope you have a really great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye! You just want to be the star of the show all the time, don't you? Oh, that's real star material right there. <laughs>